Hello everyone and welcome to the channel. My name is Martin and today we're going to have an unboxing of a cheap and affordable 3D resin printer from WiseTech called the W5501. I'm super excited about this one so let's just jump straight into it. On the box we don't see uh, a lot of information. It does say it's made in China. It has the, uh, the shipping labels from UPS. Um, but other than that, all the sides uh, doesn't say anything. So I believe you can safely have this one shipped. And if it's standing outside your door on your porch or something, I don't think anyone will notice it's a 3D printer. But let's get it open and see what we got in the box. So what do we see here? We have a full plastic case. That's that's why the the very low weight. It's with the, it comes with a lid. Um, we've got a LCD screen here to control it. Looks like we have the USB input here. We have a fan, fan for ventilation of the LED. We do have an Ethernet port, which is not that common for these small printers, at least the ones I have now, the, um, the Elegoo Mars and the uh, Photon. So it's nice to see that an Ethernet port to hook it up to uh, remote printing uh, is, um, is a standard thing now. Looks like we've got a power button, which is just a push button. On the back, we got a little bit of information on the product. It says it's an LCD 3D printer. The product model is W5501, as we already mentioned. It's manufactured by Shen, Shen WiseTech Technology. There's a little lid here. Uh, don't know what that's for yet, but uh, maybe we'll know uh, later. If you look at the front again, uh, it looks like all the accessories are packed inside the um, inside the box here. So yes, it is. So let's just carefully remove this. All the foam. Yes, here we go. All right. So let's have a look at the what comes with the box first. We got the uh, the classic spatula. We have a mask, we've got a little bit of spare screws, got a USB, there's a little envelope or something. I believe that is a spare fab, so that's the film that goes in the bottom of your tank. We've got a power adapter, let's get that open. Here we go, the power adapter, and we can already see now that the, the adapter we got earlier it does fit uh, perfectly into the uh, to adapter here. There we go. So now it fits my European plug. A little quick start guide. Some gloves. It doesn't say uh, if this is latex or neutral, but uh, yeah, well, at least it's gloves with it. And here we go. Okay, so we do do have some some paint filters, which is um, used to filter your resin. We do have a plastic uh, scraper. So let's get the uh, power hooked up to this printer and uh, see what we got. And now we can turn it on. It 
Let's put the tank and the build plate in so we can level it before um, starting our first test print. Uh, we have the, the build plate, we'll put that one in now, tighten it, and now we want to make sure that all these screws on the side here, they are loose, because next step we are going to level the bed. So now it's nice and loose, as we can see here, and it's a good idea to check. Would you go to home? As soon as the printer is home, we can now um, tighten these screws nice and tight, so the build plate now won't move again during printing, and it should be flat with the screen now and the film in the bottom of the tank. So this is nice and tight, let me just check them again. And at this stage we can go back, we can set the zero, press the zero button, now we should be zeroed. Let's move the bed up. WiseTech sent me this bottle uh, with the printer, which is the ABS like photopolymer resin, 500 gram. The color is gray. So uh, let's give this one a shake and um, pour this one in. Bear in mind guys that uh, these are the gloves that came with the printer and it's very important as soon as you handle resin, it's a chemical, so please take safety first, always wear gloves. So let's open this one. So we've put it up to the little maximum line, which is in the tank. Uh, it's hard to see now, but on the back here, there is a, um, a line. And here it is. Here's the, uh, the USB that came with it. So we just need to place that one in the USB port, which can be found on the right side of the printer, uh, down here. And we can see that it's a little test um, print to verify details and all that. So let's just get that one started and see you guys when it's done. So the test print is finished. It took 53 minutes and um, by the looks of it, I did have a little sneak peek. It looks like it, uh, it was a su success. So let's take the build plate out and check. It's a very good idea. Uh, I don't know if you can see it, but I have a little cloth down here um, because it can drip with the um, uncured resin from the build plate when you take that out. So have that in mind if you have a very delicate table, like a wooden table or something like that. Mine is laminated, so it's not a big deal, but I'm always trying to be careful um, anyway. So let's unscrew the top and take it out. It looks like it's a successful print, the test print. And by the looks of it, it looks like it came out great. I don't know if you can see it on this camera, but uh, Sure looks all right. So um, it's a cured print now. It's still a little bit wet. I don't know why it's it's, it's so shiny, but it's cured now. Um, there's some really great details there. There's some thread on that one. We can see the alphabet written here. We can see the WiseTech logo on the bottom. 
we can see some uh, some bridging. I think actually this is a cool little test piece to do. So what is my verdict on this printer? Well, if you're looking for your first 3D resin pen and you want to keep the cost down to see if the resin printing is something for you, or you just want to get some good features like LED matrix and ethernet port for the lowest possible price, then this printer from Wisetech might be something to look at. Overall, this printer is very easy to set up and get started with, and you can get printing really fast. If you want to know more, you can find some links in the video description. Until then, see you guys next time.